everyone. Spent, my name is Spencer Sue. I am your local re, uh, real estate resource. Uh, today I'm here at Vino Locale with the owners of the wonderful wine bar restaurant here in Palo Alto. I'd love for you guys to do a brief introduction about yourselves and also a little bit of a history. There's a lot of history in this unique location. So whichever you, if you want to go first. Okay, I'll go first. I'm Deborah Seche and I've been one of the owners here since 2011. And I've um, enjoyed being part of Vino Locale and its uh, history and its charm. Um, it was originally um, a private residence, a tea shop, a uh, buttons and notion shop, and now a wine bar since 2005. And in 2015, I partnered with JC over here. And um, I'll let you introduce yourself. My name is JC Andrade, and I'm partners with Deborah here, like she said, joined the team uh, in 2015 and been loving it ever since. Okay. Yeah, wonderful. So thanks for the background. Um, this, this spot is not on the strip per se, but it's very close to a lot of restaurants. So uh, for people that are coming in for the first time, finding on Yelp or finding it through this video, what would be some of the items that you would recommend first timers at this location? Oh, definitely the bacon wrap dates. The bacon wrap dates are fan favorites. Uh, the hummus all made here in house uh, with, with, uh, from our chef Kyle Kazabinski. And the wine flights, you can't beat our wine flights. Selection of four flights, uh, it can range from all whites, all reds, or a mixture of old world versus new world wines as well. Mm. And you can also get cheese pairings with your flights. I'm really passionate about bigger wine pairing food and wine and cheese pairing, so we do that. And also, you can we serve full dinners. Um, not many people associate full dinner with the wine bar. And we have live music um, three to five nights a week. Year-round outdoor seating and um, great desserts. Can you share a little bit about the live music? Is it is it a fixed schedule? Is it does it vary based off of seasons? Yeah, so it, it'll vary based on seasons. Obviously, in the summertime when the weather allows it, we have more nights uh, available. In the wintertime, it may range from three to four to five nights. It all depends on our availability. But it's seven to nine usually is a schedule, ninety percent of the time. And if you just go on our website, vinolocale.com, you'll be able to see the full schedule for the month. Wonderful. So, from people from the outside, they may just think this is just a, a house, first and foremost. Yeah, and they, may, they may not know how far back it goes. So, I'd love for people to also know what kind of scenarios or what kind of events they can expect to potentially have here. Oh, we've done it all. We've done it all from weddings to just dates to someone just booking up the entire backyard so they can do a proposal. You know, uh, our backyard stretches quite a bit back. We've done uh, eight person parties. We've done 30 person parties. It's so big that we can actually section it off into three different spaces with three different feels to it. So our central patio being the biggest space, pretty much always covered year round, can be anything from a seated dinner to a midnight style party. The secret garden is everyone's favorite because it's so tucked away in the furthest back garden. And that could be eating outdoors in the summertime or completely sheltered by a tent and well, walls in the wintertime, heated year round as well. And then we have our fire patio, newly paved fire patio where it's very cozy. It's so unique that the only light you have comes from our fire pits that we have there. So it's a very romantic and cozy area. Yeah, so you can have it for a date night or for a party and everything in between. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, definitely thank you guys for spending the time. I'm sure a lot of people will love to find this hidden gem and uh, looking forward to promote this uh, business very soon shortly. Okay. So thank you guys. Thank you very